This week, we make it to Michigan backcountry in Brown City. <laughs> Aviation, the way it was meant to be. All right, we're up here at the Marlette pickup riddle, and then head over to Brown City. Little winds from the south today. Could be a bit of a challenge. Uh, the airport's finally usable. We had a long, long, long spring waiting for a useful uh, airport this summer. We did invite Quack over from last week's video. I think he had to work, like everyone has to work. Somehow I don't have to work on a random Tuesday. Or is it Wednesday? I think it's Tuesday. Anyway, I didn't have to work, so we're out having some fun. We'll get out of here shortly and see you guys in Brown City. Remember if you like what we're doing, like, comment, and subscribe to the video. Last time we had a lot of comments and a lot of likes. That's super to see. We appreciate the support and uh, it, it invigorates us to make these videos about general aviation and promoting general aviation just to know that other people have a passion for it like we do. So thank you much. We give you guys a thumbs up. <laughs> This airport's just a short five minute flight from Marlette. It's not on the FAA sectional charts. We discovered it driving the country roads one day, noticed a checkerboard pattern on a barn, and knew there had to be an airport nearby. The next week we took our planes up, scouted the area, found the airport, knew we had to get in touch with the farmer. Michigan backcountry flying. Well, here we are out at Brown City Airport. It's a Michigan Department of Transportation airport. It doesn't qualify as a uh, as an FAA airport. It just it was originally licensed under the unimproved field, and it's now a utility field here in Michigan. 1,600 foot usable in one direction, and I think a little over 25 usable in the other. Good parking and good people around here. After talking to the owner for about an hour, Riddle decided can't waste the opportunity to have fun on a grass strip. He decided he needed to go up and do a couple of flybys. The approach to runway 27 is clear. Farm fields, some power lines over the east end. They're marked, easy to identify, and the display threshold gives plenty of room for an approach. Trees are an obstacle for runway 9. There's been a slot carved in it over the past few years, it's grown in. I'm not sure I'd use it. We flew over the top. After two passes, Riddle landed, big smile on his face, parked his airplane. Being just two miles from his house, this is a treasure. After watching Riddle do the flybys, I couldn't help myself. I had to jump in my plane and try a couple myself. All right, just as a heads up, folks, uh, at some point here, I'm going to get another camera in the, in the flight deck so we get a better angle. Where in the heck is this? At Brown City, the parking at Brown City. This is where we're going to do a 
short field competition. It won't be a competition. We'll, we won't be showing off to each other. We're just going to come out here and we're going to give short field tips and uh, examples and demonstrate to each other uh, how our short field techniques work. We'll try to come up with uh, who has a better short field technique. So again, we wouldn't be doing anything like a short field competition. Just, uh, just working with, uh, just work with each other so we can get in and out of these fields easier and then fly safer. Front city traffic, Stinson rolling to seven. Front city. She wanted to go left in the wind, got the tail up, I really didn't want to get the tail up. I was hoping when I got the tail up she'd get a little more controllable. It didn't happen. Why would it happen when I don't have the tail wheel helping me out? Anyway, it all worked out. That's pretty exciting. I'm going to come around here and try a, uh, an approach from this end. No, I probably won't land. I'm just going to see how the approach would work from this side. Brown City traffic, Stinson turning base, runway 09 at Brown City. We will be going around on this uh, approach. This is the side with the slotted trees. I don't see us uh, using that slot at all. So our touchdown point, I think, uh, would have to be in front of the display threshold. Or no, it would have to be at the display threshold. Let's see how it works out. It's going to be a kind of a faster approach. I don't want to get too low energy with those power lines at the other end. That displaced threshold there, that looks about right. These trees are pretty darn close. Ooh, they're really close. sandbars, we don't get lake beds, we get farm fields here in Michigan. This is Michigan backcountry line. Looking at those, uh, the corn, definitely a, uh, a 2-7 runway day today. Stock's not showing as much or as decisive as the, as the corn is. City Airport, it's fantastic. Provides a little challenge, provides a lot of fun. Well maintained. The owner maintains it very well for a uh, utility aircraft airport. And, uh, and very reasonable with uh, all he wants to use. So, uh, being just a couple miles from Riddle's house, and uh, Fun. I could see this being used more than we've used it recently. We probably should have been using it all summer long. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. We need some subscribers. Thank you.